Okay, hi guys. Uh, very short impromptu video. Actually, I wasn't even planning on recording this video, but you, the whole country is in a. Psh, you know what I'm saying? Before I start, hi, I'm Dr. Fedai Hill to Hill, and you are right on my channel, so you know, and I know you're here for the tea, the tea from the doctor's point of view. But here, yeah, I'm just here to say what I know about the whole doctor at some facility in Kumasi so apparently uh, a house officer which I am a house officer as well so understand the sentiments if you think there is any the house officer was called back by a nurse about um, something that had to do with patient care and some versions of the story online is talking about prescription but it's been called out and by the what's it called um, communique or communique Cospobose released online has nothing to do with the diazepam prescription. I want to clear the air on that. Has nothing, absolutely nothing. So yeah, um, it had nothing to do with the diazepam prescription. I don't think anyone would ever write that kind of prescription, even as a medical student. Nobody will write a diazepam prescription of that amount. Are you trying to online the patient? I don't think anyone would ever write that prescription personally. I don't think so. Then there's this news going around about um, how the father was out of place. I honestly feel like it's a workplace and um, the father should really not have been there to fight the battles of the father. However, I do understand the pain and the emotional part the father came into the picture with. Um, if I had the battle professionally, would I call my father? Absolutely not. I would not call my father to fight the fight for me personally. I would sort my thing out. But now, it gets tricky in the sense that their profession, their doctors are on paper attempt to be the head of the team and um, we're supposed to lead the team and everything but as a house officer my woes and my struggle is actually a video you know what i'm jumping the gun it so happened that uh, the whole video is about a father defending his daughter because of the way ines was not speaking to her and all that good stuff and then apparently she was called back to the hospital about some prescriptions she's written and then the father had to jump in and you know talk to her some people say they were in church when this happened and the father dropped her off at work you know to correct whatever was wrong or whatever and she came back to the car side and she, she was like okay some things were said to her and then she didn't like what was said and the father felt in his place to come and defend whatever happened so first time famous first of people are going oh why is what's the father's place there the man was there when the girl came back from the car side from there from the workplace side he dropped it literally at work if that really was the truth and Another thing, uh, 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 another thing you should also remember is that your family is a support system when it comes to whatever you're going through. Family is seen as a support system. Even when we're talking about the systems in the family, we have, we have the church, we have the family. We have, you know, when you want to make, uh, what's it called, impact in public health, you approach re re through religious organizations, then you approach through head of families, chiefs. You, let's say there are institutions that are set up. And the family is one institution that we cannot say does not exist. It's a support system that is there. So if a father sees his child is in distress, of course, we'd want to jump in. Do you get what I'm saying? And the thing is, we're all talking about how the father is wrong. I honestly feel like he was out of place with the things he said. But that's an opinion. But I also understand that he was emotional about seeing his child in that state of mind. <laughs> Now, emotion is now, nobody's considering his emotion, but we have to talk about it because this girl was being bullied, emotional, there was emotional mental bullying in the, in, in the workplace in, in this scenario because the nurse should not have spoken to her in certain ways and she's female, you'd always say about female, female, um, what's it called, friction. I'm a female doctor in the district and trust me, the friction is real and it's not just coming from females only. So yeah, I can understand her frustration, I can understand everything she's going through. Actually, I'm even talking to her just Friday, today's book. Tuesday, just Friday, someone attempted to slap me. Prior to this, there was another incident and a colleague of mine was actually like literally almost physically assaulted if she hadn't moved away. Me, the slap would have landed if I hadn't moved away. But we realized that reporting to the right institution, nothing was done about it. My colleague's case, which happened like two months prior. So it's actually emboldened a lot of people to decide that these are house officers, they are dispensable. This statement was actually made by someone. You are, you are here for just a year, your, your place here is temporary. So just deal with whatever is dealt to you and move on. Now, that is not a, that's not a very encouraging thing to hear. So when that was done to me, literally on Friday, I just said, you know what? If this guy had hit me, I would have gone straight to the police. I would have damned the hierarchy because I'm now scared for my life. I'm scared that if I'm called at 12 midnight to come to the female world to see a case, when I'm on duty, saw my papa out of the bushes to hit me. And when that is done, what's going to happen? 
if this guy had actually attempted suicide, would, 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 the, would the conversation be what we are having right now? Yes, daddy, you shouldn't have said all these things you said. Bringing her certification and things into play was absolutely not necessary. However, when, when we talk from a place of emotion, we talk irrationally. So I can understand that he was irrational because he's been emotional. Now, people are now, what I don't understand and what I don't get is why people are cyberbullying this poor girl on the internet, posting her picture, talking about the nurse is cute, the girl, doctor is ugly. It's not your place to call anyone ugly. If you think the nurse is cute, then that's fine, period, point blank. You don't have to call this girl ugly. I don't think she's ugly. I don't think she's ugly. <laughs> Someone said, we're not talking about inner beauty. <laughs> fine. Let's, let's agree that we're not talking about inner beauty, but this lady is not ugly. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Don't come and talk about ugliness. Let's forget about that. She is not ugly. Let's stop it. What we are doing is we're cyberbullying here. And it is not right. I'm actually making this video so that you guys would know that sending her pictures online, commenting about how distasteful she looks to your eye, is very unnecessary. It's cyberbullying. And it's a very nice lawsuit waiting to happen. It's not right. Training the nurse's picture, telling her, oh, she's cute. Yes, she's actually very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. I will admit, the doctor is also aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. I think the two of them are cute. That's how I feel. I won't train their pictures and start saying one is more beautiful over the other because beauty criteria differs. Beauty is out of the Stop, stop it. Stop, stop trending the pictures online. It's very unfair. Just put yourself in her shoes, though. If someone trending your picture online, calling you ugly, would you actually like it? One thing again I'm going to comment is the solidarity with the nurses. Nurses are very, very together. You know that when nurses are out of line, even nursing students, the in charge will not let you correct them. You to defend them, defend you actually defend them, take them probably take them into their room in private and you know school them, whatever. But the defense there, they're gonna defend them. What are you talking? They will defend them. So I hope doctors actually take notes because we have our seniors, our senior colleagues who would insult us, undress us with their words in front, in during world rounds, in front of nurses, in front of nursing students, in front of other allied health professionals. When they can actually take this other approach, and even when things like this are going on, we've never heard from the GMA, we've never heard from the Junior Doctors Association. There's nothing official that has been released to actually show that, you know what, we recognize this girl as a member of our association. Now, you also hear people saying house officers are not doctors, they are doctors in training. Trust me, from the beginning I started my house job, I've had instances where people call me a nurse. I haven't beaten anyone over it. I just simply tell you, I'm not a nurse, I'm a doctor. Period. Then you say, oh, house officers are not doctors, they are just doctors in training. My sister, when rotation nurses come around, do we call them rotation nurses? Don't we just say nurse? Period. In case you don't understand the criteria to become a house officer, you must have successfully completed and satisfied everything required of you to be called a doctor before they give you that MBCHB or MBBS, whatever your certificate holds, right? Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. You must have satisfied all qualifications, all necessary requirements. Then they will say, hold on with your doctor. You can then choose that. You say, I want to practice a medical doctor or not. And then when you decide to practice a medical doctor, you do an internship for two years, which or some countries one year, greenhouse job, an intern doctor. So my point is, whether you choose to practice medicine or not, you are still a doctor. Nobody's going to collect the title for you because you have an investor certificate that says you're a doctor. So stop all this uh, would-be doctor, soon-to-be doctor, my dear. That's respectful. Stop it. It's not nice. Anyway, that's even your opinion. The fact that you're calling me doctor in training or doctor soon to be doesn't change the fact that I'm a doctor. And so everybody saying, what's the big deal about the doctor? If it's easy, go and become a doctor. Do it. What's the big deal in becoming a nurse? Da, da, da. If it's easy, go to nursing school too and do it. You can't sit there and come and now criticize somebody's qualification because of X, Y, Z. My sister, whatever qualification you are criticizing, if it is so easy, go and do it. My brother, if you think you're better than the person, go and get a certificate just to prove that person wrong. Nobody is less than. Let us learn to respect people just because they're human beings. When your patient comes in, respect them just because for the mere fact that they are human beings. Even if you're brought a patient who is dead, respect the fact that they used to exist. Now, unfortunately, they are unexisting. Let's just respect everybody, basically. Let's learn to respect people. And cyberbullying is a crime. Stop it. And stop peddling false rumors. Because if this court becomes a court case and decides to round all of you up, there's nothing like, I didn't know. Ignorance is no defense in the eye of the law. And you should remember and you're also and you should also remember you're all you're very innocent until proven guilty by the court of law so technically the nurse is innocent the doctor is innocent and the father is also innocent we're just giving our hot takes you know what i'm saying
so yeah um let's be nice god loves you so much i can totally relate with what this young girl is going through because i've also been targeted not just me all of my colleagues have been targeted as female house officers in the district even when we're not even in the district we're all targeted and you hit, and the truth of the matter is i actually was just there sitting down seeing patients and emergency is brought in and then the nurse there just said the doctor is not around but you can the house officer can see till the doctor comes <sighs> what what would you do in that situation i just said okay fine i'm a house officer the nurse has decided on triage and decided that i'm not feeling you know what i'm a house officer I'm not regarded as being a doctor to see this case. Fine. I would advise you call the resident or whoever is superior to me that you consider a doctor. Oh, but dog, I said, mm -mm. you said I'm not a doctor. So that's fine. Then they come begging, please. of course I'm going to see the case. But I had to make an exception to let her know that that statement is very, very disrespectful. Did I see the case? Yes. Did the patient survive? Yes. So let's let, let let's be nice. We don't go around causing calling rotation nurses, nurse rotation nurses. We don't say we oh, are doing your service. You can't see this case. No, we accord you the respect we give you in charge, and that's just pure basic respect. Well, I haven't really had any problem with nurses in my own facility here. It's probably from other allied health and maybe one of this other one. I think the moral of the story here is let's be respectful. Let's respect everyone, regardless of whatever cadre or position they are in. Cyberbullying is wrong. Peddling false information is also wrong. You can have an opinion, but don't make it law and order. You can have an opinion, don't make it law and order. And um, we should learn to we should learn to be correctable. We should also learn to go things go through things in the hierarchical car way because if you don't and shit hits the fan, it's going to be brought to that. Also, I honestly feel that we should be kind to one another. We should be very kind to everyone. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't need to know who, who is who or what is what. Let's be kind and be respectful to each other. That being said, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm just a very pained um, house officer in the district that's going to share her struggles later right now i'm just trying to try to concentrate on my mental health and um i'm just going to post pictures of the press release by the nursing association and um, i'm waiting for the jd and Ghana medical association to actually say something because um our colleague has been attacked and he's being cyber bullied i hope we'll not just sit down and just be looking <laughs> for usual you know what i'm saying let's do something about that <laughs> let's do something about that i'm just saying let's do something about that and um every doctor online let's try our best to you know send encouraging words if you know this lady i don't know her but um i'll do my best to let them know that even the nurses communicate didn't say anything about it does it pam does it it's about extending an antibiotic online on the medic on the system of the hospital on the system of the hospital the limbs or whatever so let's stop peddling false rumors it's not nice it's not good it's unlawful let's stop cyber bullying it's unlawful it's not nice let's be nice to people let's not just sit down in our rooms and talk about being nice expecting people to be nice to us but to you not know, show niceness or kindness on um any opportunity we get so um i said over and over again cyber bullying is wrong let's be nice to people and um let's remember there's a hierarchy when it comes to dealing with situations and um we know we know that there's a likelihood that our senior colleagues may not step in i hope this is serves as a trigger for our senior colleagues to understand our struggles and not forget the struggles they went through <laughs> and also remember it hurts to be bullied bullying in the workplace is a no-no workplace toxicity is a no-no we are all paid to do our work let's just come to work do what we are paid to do and go we don't have to make friends. If friendship comes out of it, we thank God. If friendship doesn't come out of it, that's fine. Let's just make sure the patient doesn't suffer. We do what we're supposed to do. And that's it. Be nice to people. Cyberbullying is... Be nice to people. Cyberbullying is a crime. Peddling false rumor is also a crime. Don't, 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 don't fall victim of that. Okay? That being said, I wish for peace. Although Christmas is like it's Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. why they celebrate three moons? Christmas, 
um, and it was seriously spectacular channel. And yeah, so try Taking it slow, won't work in time It's only so long for Christmas life It can't be a song you sing sometimes I need you to sing it for your whole life So let me